the revolution in Egypt and across the region, but specifically in Egypt because I was born in Egypt, is the most exciting thing of my life. I'm so glad I'm alive to see a revolution in Egypt. But all along, I've wanted to hear that just as we're fighting for freedom and dignity against the oppression of the regime against all Egyptians, we're also upending the oppression of women by a patriarchal conservative society. I always bring out and tell people, look, we need the, basically the Khadija Brigade. Khadija, and that's Prophet Muhammad's first wife. She was his employer. She was a very successful businesswoman, a divorcee, who was 15 years older than him and who proposed to him. So I love to offer her as a role model and as someone who confuses stereotypes of Muslim women. And for me, the Khadija Brigade would be a, a brigade of a revolutionary feminist women who would go out there and make sure that women's rights would guarantee every woman a position in society just as Khadija had it. When I look at the political Islamists in the Egyptian parliament, I see men, for example, from the Muslim Brotherhood movement who don't believe a woman can become president. They also believe that a Christian cannot become president. That, for me, is non-democratic. And as a feminist, as a woman, that is antithetical to women's rights. We have to recognize that in conservative societies, women, on a very deep and fundamental level, have taken in the lessons of what they need to do in order to be accepted and given this tiny slice of the pie where they're told, here, you have power now, okay? But here are the steps that you have to do. Do A, B, and C, and you can have this 2% of whatever we give you, but no more than that. I don't want 2%, I want 100%. So I'm not gonna internalize that oppression. As women, we have two revolutions. We have to make sure the political revolution is maintained and continues until it is completed, but we also have to have this revolution of the mind and we have to lead the revolution of the mind. As women, we, we must refuse to be told, wait until we fix the economy. Wait until we fix education, wait until we fix the streets, wait until we fix the environment, wait until we fix the entire universe, and then we'll get to you. No, because we were out there on the streets with you. Our arms were broken, we were sexually assaulted, we were jailed, we were tortured. We are part, central part of this revolution, and we will not be told, you have to wait. For me, without that kind of determination, this revolution is nothing.